Hello, welcome back. This is part 8 of my Nostalgia Single Player playthrough. And I'm going to go ahead and start off this part by doing a Halloween daily run. Alright, finish the dailies. Just turn these in. Badge count up to 54. 65 is actually my goal for badges at the moment for the piece of gear that I need. Uh, I'm just going back to Valzakia. Gonna turn in the main story quest and head to the next town. Um, let me just see before... Yep, don't need to bank or anything. Just ready to go ahead and go to the next town. And I'll be quiet for the cutscene. Alright, so this is Piata. Uh, there's a couple things I need to do here before leaving town. First is this secret chest up here. And Scroll Repel is useless to me, so it's getting sold right now. I also need to pick up the quest over here. This is the quest to kill 10 evil stumps. And in here is the main story quest. This man is pretty much telling us to head north and kill the pirate leader at the pirate base. So I'm actually going to head straight to the pirate base instead of killing the evil stumps first. Uh, just gonna run. Don't want to do more fights than I have to. Don't really have a reason to be grinding here. So the fights here are a little annoying. The drillers are ice type and they have that ice AoE. And the clam jaws are hard type. And the pirates just hit you and they can also steal you, steal items from you, pickpocket you. And my strategy in this area is just gonna have the zombie use his AoE at the first turn and then just regular attack on the next turns. Um, because 
just messed around a little bit, and it seems like using the AoE on turn 1 is what helps the most. Since the driller is ice type, I can use my fire tap, of course. But um, from this point onward, I'm only going to be using my fire and storm taps on enemies that are weak to it, because enemies are starting to get element resist, which makes my normal tap stronger than element taps. Fights up here are going to require a bit more healing than what I've been used to. But in general, I'm not going to run out of rage. I actually am going to run out of rage here, but it's okay. I don't need my character to be at max. All that means is I'm going to... Oh, whoops. Okay, auto heal is the potion. I'm just going to have to start using low-cost heals sometimes and use my shifts more. So this, this guy right here sells crab bait. 10 gold makes it a 1 out of 5 recruit chance to get a giant crab. And uh, the reason for that is there's a quest that requires you to recruit a giant crab. So I'm just going to go ahead and buy bait in case I run into a crab. Uh, secret right here. This one's pretty tough. But um, I have a map, so that's why it's easy for me. Some of the tree puzzles later in the game actually... Um, it makes it so there's like secret paths that lead to nowhere, so it's to be a pretty, pretty crazy maze for some of them. Pirate Cutlass, useless item for me. Ranger, Merchant, and Soldier item. And there are some quests in here. Oh! Uh, this guy has a quest, but there's no exclamation point over his head. That kind of messed with me. Alright, so that's a quest to catch the, uh... To catch this parrot. So you have to trap it. And I think I remember how to do it. You're trying to trap him in that corner on the right, so it's like this. I think I can use one leech and not kill him. It doesn't have a whole lot of HP. Uh, I'll just have my blue slime go on defensive here. And you use the cage to catch it. It's the same type of thing as the ghost mission earlier in the game. Okay, perfect. Alright, so I turn in that quest. And he gives me a quest to go find the captain's grog in the ship. Oh, I don't know if you noticed earlier, but that's the captain in there that I have to kill, and the first mate won't let me in there until I do his quests. So that's what's going on right now. Here's a ranch right here. So this is another sneak mission, similar to the uh, Balzacchia Jail. If these pirates see you, they throw you out. 
In this one, it isn't much harder, really, if you know where you're going. It's about the same difficulty as the last one. I love the sneak missions in this game. I just think they're kind of fun. It's the only kind of thing in the game that actually requires like timing on the overworld. And you gotta make sure to go through the left here, because a pirate can see you if you enter on the right just immediately. Chest right here. Pirate bandana, I think that's useless to me, I'll check it. Well, I'll check it right now. Yeah, it creates a set, but I have a slime hat, so I don't want that. Uh, you kind of have to wait for them to match up correctly here. You have to do a bit of waiting. I guess I'll check the experience on everyone. Yeah, Zombie has some catching up to do. I'm pretty close to a level. Yeah, I just gotta wait for one more cycle here. I don't think you can run there and make it. Yep, there we go. And here's the chest for the quest. I'm just gonna get thrown out now. And yeah, they throw you out. Call me a scallywag and a squiffy. Uh, so that's that quest done. I'm gonna go ahead and do this boss. Um, I think I'm strong enough. I mean, I'm level 17, I'm a, and I'm a warlock, so let's just go for it. Yeah, I'm just going to put one guy on defensive. Bloodbeard has these funny little uh, dialogues before all of his moves. Rum Breath is his most dangerous attack. He, al he also can just attack you, and he has an AoE Confuse. Yeah, when he just does the regular attack, that's what I want. Yeah, if he keeps that up, um, he just can't do enough damage to kill us. Oh, whoops. Meant to do a leech there. Alright, that curse is good in case he tries to do his confuse. Yep. Oh wow, still hit. Good thing I had the curse. Um, as long as as long as Z doesn't attack himself or the other companion, I'm cool. Oh wow, that was a pretty lame confuse. Good for me.
don't think this boss has very much luck, because that Confuse doesn't land a whole lot. Oh, could have Rob Graved him, but, uh... Main story bosses don't have any pilfers, so that would have been pointless. Alright, so now we have more quests. For some reason this dude's exclamation point doesn't want to show up, I guess it's a glitch. Long last treasure map, that's to kill some enemies in the in the next cave, in Piata Cave. In Dead Man Tell No Tale, it's to find a ghost in the Piata Cave. I'll go over those quests again once we reach that area. This door right here requires a reforged key. Reforged key is not in the game yet, I think I already mentioned that. So, can't get those chests. Um, pretty... Hmm. Um, pretty low on HP and rage here. I guess I'll do some shifts. Yep, then just drop a heal more on me. I uh, just hope I don't run into any tough fights. Oh, whoops, another potion. I guess that's good, because I wanted to use shift again. But I kind of wish that auto heal wouldn't use potions, because I just don't mean to do that. Um. Hmm. I guess I want to go ahead and grind for the giant crab recruit here. What happens is if you, when you finish the evil stump quest and you turn it in, he gives you the quest to recruit a giant crab. But I want to just go ahead and recruit the giant crab first. It doesn't really matter which order you do it in. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. You can just grind in this area anywhere north of the bridge. I'm pretty sure. But the crab shows up maybe one in every ten fights, and the charm is a one in five shot. Um, I'm definitely not going to show the whole grind of recruiting this crab, because it can take a very long time. So my, I think my plan is, um, I'm just going to go ahead and cut out after this fight and cut back every time I encounter a crab. and just really any time something interesting happens, because it can be a really long grind that's just not worth watching. And my little trick uh, switching the zombie to conserve here is to make it so he doesn't do siphon again, because using siphon and using siphon twice in one fight just isn't very good. I just like him using it once at the beginning of the fight. So you'll see me switching between offensive and conserve a lot on the zombie. Yeah, this is not a fun area to grind. Fights are gonna take me three fight, three rounds, pretty much no matter what. And just the crab will take a while to recruit, so not a lot of fun for me here. But um, oh, whoops, didn't mean to get second there. But yeah, I'll cut back when anything cool happens. Alright, here's my first crab encounter. This is actually round two of the fight. Um, I just went ahead and used leech, and now I'm using the crab bait. I don't have to worry about them killing the crab before I can bait it, because you always go first using a, a charm or a bait. This fight can be tough, because the drillers deal a lot of damage, and there's two of them. But, uh... Looks like they're killing it first. Sometimes they kill the crab first. It, it seems kind of random. Uh, hoping the blue slime doesn't die here. Um, yeah, I'm going to put him on defensive. That'd be really nice if I got the recruit on the first fight, but it doesn't seem to happen too often.
Oh wow, okay, first fight. <laughs> That's fantastic. So um, now, now I guess I'll go do the giant stump grind. I'm glad that that, <laughs> that was, it didn't even take me that long to find the crab either. That's really nice. It's taken me hours before. This is one of the few encounters which I can actually get in two rounds sometimes. The encounters that I get around the evil stumps are much easier than this area though. I kind of just went towards the tougher area first because um, I'm over leveled, it didn't really matter which place I went first. But if you're playing through the game normal, generally you would want to do the evil stump quest, grind in that area a bit, and then go up to the pirate base. Oh, that's nice. Zombie level. Yeah, just waiting on the zombie to catch up. It'll be nice once we're all at the same level again. Another crab. Um, I think I might as well just use my charm on... I think I bought two. I might as well use my other crab bait on this one because if I ever want to make another character on this account in the future, it'll be nice that I'll just already have that crab in the ranch. Oh no, is the slime dying here? Nope. Okay. Just gonna go for another heal more. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, that was a pretty rough fight. Let's see if I get the recruit though. Nope. Doesn't really matter. Oh man, this is a bad time to run into fishmen. This is the mini boss in the area. Yikes, okay. If they get me below 40 HP here, this is a problem. I just really need to get my leech off here. Wow. <laughs> well, can't win them all. Is this going to be my first death? 
<laughs> I mean, that's extremely unlucky. There's nothing you can do about it. I'm kind of mad. Uh, it's possible my companions could still pull this one off. My companions could pull this off, but I don't know. I don't know about that. They're not taking too much heavy damage, and the siphon's doing some work. I guess let's just see what happens. This is what happens when your character dies and your companions are still alive. It just kind of runs through all the text really fast. Damn, you got the bleed on both of them now. Oh, that was not a good heal. He's about to drain life. Oh, it was fine. It didn't waste any. Ooh, is this death right here? No, I don't think so. Fishman have quite a bit of HP, maybe like 400 something, 500. I'd have to guess 450. I'll look it up. So I'm not doing anything. Oh, they only have 350 actually. I don't know how much they're at right now, but 350 total. I, it's looking like my companions are gonna pull it off. I'm really surprised. I mean, I guess it makes sense. They're level 17 and 16, which is pretty good. Since my character died, I'm not sure if I get the reputation or the experience or whatever. Oh, this might be the end for Blue Slime right here. They both attack him. Nope. Okay. That was crucial. So the zombie refuses to use bite on monsters that are bleeding, which sucks because bite actually can never miss. I guess I didn't really explain the, com the zombie's abilities, but um... Bite is a... It deals the same damage as a regular physical attack and it bleeds, and Siphon is an AoE life drain. Um, I'd... Why is my blue slime not healing? <laughs> I don't understand what's going on, it just stopped healing. It's gonna... <laughs> That's gonna kill my team. <laughs> I don't understand. It has 400 rage and it stopped healing. So I'm gonna lose now. Well, that's gotta be a glitch. That has to be a glitch because it's on defensive and it just didn't heal at max rage. That's the... <laughs> That's the death animation. It's the first time seeing it. Uh, that sucks. That's just really frustrating. I run into them. They both hit my warlock, so I can't use leech. And then it looks like my companions are gonna kill them, but... Due to some glitch or something, my blue slime just doesn't do it. But you know, it's it's cool. There will be more fishmen in the future.
So these are the evil stumps I need to kill. I don't know if I mentioned already, but uh, sorry if my voice sounds kind of nasally or just different because uh, I've been sick the past couple of days. Uh, it's going to take a while to kill 10 of, 10 of these encounters, so uh, after I show a few fights, show all the enemies in the area, probably cut out the video. But yeah, the evil stumps are the easiest enemies in the area, because any enemies that all they do is just a regular attack is just always going to be uh, fun to fight. Oh, glad I got this encounter with the they haven't seen you message because uh, these porkies can deal some damage. They have an ability called Needle. Uh, it's a magic based move. Uh, can just really hurt you. And uh, Evil Stump and Porky are two enemies that I'd actually... I'm not going to actively hunt them to recruit them, but if, they, if either of them wanted to join me, I would take it because I could see myself using them in the future. There's the needle. See, he does some good damage. Uh, there should just be one, one more enemy in this area to show off. Always happy to see this encounter though. I'm really glad I have the zombie in this area because two blue slimes would not get through the fights this fast because the AoE just really helps things out. Oh nice, level up. That should mean level up on the blue slime too. Oh and that gives me Exegate, which I, I think I mentioned briefly, but teleports you to town. Whether you're on the overworld or in a cave, doesn't matter. And of course, building towards that scare, so need a point in luck for that. I'm going to end up getting two points in luck, but for now I just need one to get scare. Yep, and there, here's the last enemy I was going to show off, the uh, the snake. Um, similar to the spiders in the catacombs. Oh, there you see, because it can poison you with its basic attack. Uh, so pretty annoying, but not as annoying as the Porky. Or not as dangerous as the Porky, in my opinion. Maybe more annoying, but not as dangerous. And I guess, uh, now that I've shown off all the enemies in the area, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut back when uh, cut back when something interesting happens, or just once I've killed all ten of the evil stumps. All right, so I'm finishing the finishing off the last battle to get the evil stump quest done here. Uh, not much happened during the grinding, but I did get an evil stump recruit, and I took it. So evil stumps in my ranch. I'll show that back in town. 
Uh, kind of nearing toward the end of the video here, but there's a few things I need to do. Uh, you'll you'll see what once we're in town. Oh, so I'll show at the ranch. Uh, there's my giant crab, evil stump. Uh, let me actually move the evil stump to the first page. It's only level five. That kind of sucks. So I gotta turn in this giant crab. It uh, it doesn't let you keep the giant crab. He takes it away, but it's not a good pet anyway. I wouldn't want to keep it. So yeah, that's turning in those quests. And he does have another quest, which is the postman, which is uh, talk to his cousin Lily in Inner. So this is actually a. Uh, just a talking quest. I'm gonna grab my blue slime back. Uh, I did something kind of dumb earlier, which was selling that repel scroll and saying it was useless. Because... Oh, what is this crab cake? I think it's a healing item, but I don't need it. Anyway, I said those re repel scrolls were useless and I just sold them, but actually, uh... Actually, I need I need some right now to go do this quest and not run into enemies, so I'm gonna have to buy a couple. Uh, I sold all that gear because it was just useless to me. Yeah, so I just wasted like 80 gold or whatever because I sold two repel scrolls. Um. Also, when I when I turn the main story quest in here, I think he. Yep, he talks about giving me the magical key. So now I have the key that can open those, uh... These doors right here, the red and yellow. So I'm gonna go back to all the red, red and yellow doors and get all the chests in them as well while I go do this quest. And there have been a few. I'm thinking... I can think of two of them in Balzakia and one of them in Inar. Oh, I guess I didn't make it clear. We can just boat back between Piata and Balzakia now. And it's a, it's a free boat ride. Some of the boat rides later on are not free, but this one is. So here's the first door that I'm thinking of. Uh, which gives me HP Potion C, pretty nice. And the other one I'm thinking of is in the jail. Um, and I want to deposit this stuff. Let me check the jail chest before I bank stuff. Actually, I should probably do all this stuff in the inner before I bank stuff, too. So yeah, I get to do this puzzle again. Uh, looks like I'm not getting too lucky with how they're lining up here. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to wait for him to turn around again. That's not fun. <laughs>
Alright, got my chance here. Yeah, the one thing I don't like about sneak missions is how you have to wait for them to get lined up correctly. The fun part to me is like the skill part, not the waiting part. There's our friend over there, still just hanging out in jail. And here it is, the hidden cloak of the DSF, which completes the set with the DSF hat, but um, I'm going to equip this because it gives me one int. But I wouldn't want to equip the hat, because I, don't, I just want intelligence, and I don't think the set gives any int, does it? Oh. <laughs> uh, Alright, that's my mistake. I should have used the DSF set. That is my mistake. <laughs> oh, I feel silly. Okay. Yeah, I was thinking that the slime hat was better, because the slime hat had int, and I thought the set only gave agility and defense. But, nope, I'm, I missed out on good gear, because I'm not using the set. But, you know, it's fine. I'm strong enough. I'm sure I'll get some sort of upgrade um, soon enough. So, just gonna drop this repel scroll. I think I'm high enough level to repel here. Yeah, it looks like it. I'm pretty sure there's only one magic key chest in Inner. I'm trying to remember. Oh, and here's the quest. Uh, we get Lily's bracelet. Int? What was I using before? Strength. Okay, that's good. And what does this give me down here? Slimes in my way again. <laughs> that happened at the beginning of the game as well. The slime armor, which is useless for me. Soldier or merchant. Already got that. Yep. Alright. I thought maybe there was one more chest somewhere. I guess not. I don't think I'm forgetting anything. I'm just going to sell this stuff, bank the gold, in case I die again. Oh no, don't want to sell those. I'm going to bank all this other stuff. So, um, well, let me look at my quest for a second. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, log out here at the bank, cut the episode off here. And in the next part, I'm going to head to Piata Cave. And if dailies reset before then, I'm going to do another Halloween run. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching this part. Kind of got a lot done. A fair amount. More than I thought that I would in Piata. But uh, see you next time.